Last time I gave a presentation about the ARB and to recap, it's a um, way to rate games based on the maturity of their content for kids to play. And actual numbers. GTA 5 sold over 70 million copies and 37% being under 17 years old, that means 26 million kids are playing this game. Put that into your mind. That's just absurd. Um, I got the number of sales from IGN, which is a respected game website. And kids are. Uh, this is a quote from ABC News that says, young people are routinely able to get their hands on games that are rated M or AO, which is adult only. And three-fourths who were surveyed, they actually, they, three-quarters of parents who were surveyed said that always check their games, but when they surveyed kids actually, half of the boys said they played games that are rated above their age level, which is stupid. They get their hands on a game they're not supposed to regard this. Someone find it for them. So, the solution that should be more widespread is parents should be more aware of what they're buying. Because from a personal story, I was too young to buy Black Ops 2 when it first came out, sadly. And I asked my mom to get it for me. She didn't even ask what it was about or why I couldn't get it. Neither did the cashier tell her what was on the game. So I just got it without my mom knowing whatever I'm playing. And that's actually part of what I want to resolve. I want cashiers, or we should get cashiers to better explain to the parents what's on these games. Like in GTA, sexual content, nudity, and killing of prostitutes. <coughs> so this is how you guys do better the community for us gamers. Make sure you know what's on the games that you guys are buying for the kids. And if you have a little brother or something, please don't buy the game for them. Like, spare my eardrums and millions of other gamers. Also, yeah, don't be a bad person and buy your kids games in which they could openly kill people. That's just common. Yeah. And well, in case you're at GameStop with your child, there is a website you can go to, esrb.org. It has a mobile site in case you're on the move. They have another website on the computer in case you want to do more research. If you want to do more research, they go in depth into every game, what's on the games, why they got their ratings, and such. These are websites you can actually go to in case you guys go to Europe for whatever reason. Peggy is for European countries, and ESRB is for the US and Canada. So please double check and 